Welcome back to The Daily Glitch, where we cover your top news stories each and every day. It has been a slow start to the week as everyone is recovering from the barrage of news that lasted during last week's E3. If you haven't fully caught up with all of the announcements, check out our recap videos on each conference. And now, let's cover today's news. The announcement of Civilization VI was met with mixed reactions, both with players curious and uncertain about what to expect thanks to the new graphics and gameplay changes compared to previous versions. Today, a new trailer was released giving us a better idea of how city districts will work in Civ VI. As we learned in the original announcement, cities will now be split into districts, with each tile representing a different district. These district tiles are specialized for different tasks such as research, growth, culture, or production. There will be many different district tiles you can create with some civilizations having their own unique district tiles only that they can construct. It will be important not only what district tiles you construct, but where you construct them as certain map tiles will also provide bonuses for certain districts. In today's trailer, they showcased how districts can slowly grow to provide more research production on the buildings you invest in. For example, you can choose to create a campus, which will gain additional buildings like a university and research lab as you continue to research new technologies. In terms of location bonuses, the trailer also showed that a campus will get a bonus when built near mountains or a rainforest. This obviously requires us to have more forethought in discovering new cities, as we need to take advantage of not only the start location, but also the surrounding tiles that we'll use for each district expansion. Taking it one step further, wonders also have been confirmed to require their own tile when being built, and will often have their own specific requirements in terms of location. With districts and wonder tiles being a major new addition to Civ 6, veteran players may need to change their strategy when they pick the game up on October 21st of this year. In other news, we saw some additional releases today. Mighty No. 9 is rolling out the codes for backers after a few delays, and Rocket League has released their free Neo Tokyo DLC. Did you end up getting either of these? Let us know your thoughts on both of these launches in the comments below. And that is today's big gaming news. Remember, if you need a quick recap on last week's big news, check out our E3 playlist. And make sure to subscribe to us and follow us on Twitter to stay up to date on the top gaming news each and every day. We'll be back tomorrow with another Daily Glitch.